We're on our way to drop off Doug and run away. Uh, we're going to take him to go stand on the street corner with signs that say God hates denomination and, and etc. You're going to do that one. No. I'm not getting out. No. Tired to do a post. Um, all the way back. We're in a hurry. We can't show you the back of the truck because Doug doesn't want to get a lawsuit. The Fifth Amendment means that we don't have to testify against ourselves. <laughs> so, uh, but there's a lot of people. There's 13 people in this van. Yeah! Ah. And we're all driving down the road to go, uh, quote unquote, wake some people up. See what happens. See what happens. Yeah. So, yeah. The only one we have that was the only, the only ones that did it last time that are with us this time is Zach and me. Yeah. So. Jacob and Tom are gone, and Brian and Victoria. She had to go right on. Oh wait, no, Brian's here. I'm here. Okay. We showed up later. In my yeah, we showed up later. Deal last time. Lelio. Tom and, Jay, Tom and Jacob are getting ready to go to Africa. When was the last time you did that? Uh, we did it Friday. About 10 days. Was it the last time Jacob was here? Yeah, when they were here just back. From when is Jacob supposed to come back? They're going to Africa for a month. Oh, yeah, that's right. Probably, probably towards the end of summer, Rachel. Oh, okay. With the tan. Oh, yeah, they'll be crispy. So as you can see, Doug has a lot of concentration while he's driving up this big hill. Liberty is a very nice area. We've got the Moors Plaza, limited sight distance. That house. Oh wow. That's the name of the apartment. Yeah, I know. Limited sight distance. Oh yeah, yeah. Crestview Village. <laughs> wow. And now we're going down the hill. <laughs> And there's a boat, and there's a, a, a spot of bird waste <laughs> in the window. You're never going to let me narrate him in a video, are you? <laughs> You're like, no. Now the water is getting sprayed on the window, and it's still there. It's not coming off. <laughs> You're going to, like, delete my voice. Can you do that? I've been trying for a long time. Yeah, I haven't yeah. figured out how yet. I mean on video. Oh. We just passed my school. Isn't that like fancy? You get to see the other backside. Right? There's a red truck. Oh, and there's a hand stop. Big houses would like the Lord to give us. Oh, yeah. This is Doug Perry's house. I don't know. Yeah, everybody else lives in the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my house. Just him. Here's my school. Name withheld. Is it raining? No. There's people fighting. <laughs> are we stopping at the? Are, are we going to the intersect over at Walmart? Yeah. Are we going to the one at Walmart? <laughs> no, not across yeah, the highway. Doug, I should have a sign that says, please donate to Liberty after Ruby. No. No, that'd be loitering. <laughs> you can do that. Vamos a la calle de ayer. Here comes Doug Spanish. Vamos donde subimos a la semana pasada. Woo! Okay. Going down the highway. Doug, we could... Donde estaba el correo. We could rent one of those buildings. You could rent one of those four lease buildings. La niña tiene que grabar mejor porque como que no graba bien. Sí. <laughs> no graba bien. What does that mean? It says you don't record well. Somebody else has to hold the camera. I am going to beat you up. That's what he said. How do you say that in Spanish? How do you say that in Spanish? What? Tell him I'm going to beat him up. Huh? Hello, loco. Ah, uh, yeah, I just got it's, you on camera. This girl is loca. <laughs> loco is loco. And I suppose you're oh, totally loco normal. Loco is crazy. Yeah, but that's yeah. the point. 
Loco's a boy. Loco's, Loco's boy. a girl. Girl's I thought Loco was Pink. crazy. Yes, for a boy. Here's all the cars. Loco would be for a girl. Oh, now, you can see how many uh, people Doug is going to quote unquote wake up. Where are we stopping? Huh? Where are we going? Where the cow stands. Oh, yeah. Where the cow stands? We're going where the cow stands. Where? In front of Chick-fil-A. Oh. But the cow won't be there today because they're closed. No license plate. Go ahead, because she's going to be with her mama and have it in here. Crowley Furniture. Crowley. 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 Accident care. reduction zone. I don't think he likes me. Please don't. <laughs> You should go stand out there. Don't buy a mattress. That's all private property. That whole parking lot is private property. No. They can throw you off of there. They can't throw you off the city side. They tried to with Kim. Well, that's because she's panhandling with a give me money sign. That's a different thing. This is religious, political, free speech issue. West to West Hi, me. Wine and spirits. Oh crap. You didn't see that license plate. We're going to that intersection we were at last time by the chick fil Becky does. Stewart. Jesus, stop. You can say that. We're in the what? We're just pulling in there right now. Olive Garden. That's where Doug eats every day. At Olive Garden. I don't think I've had Olive Garden. Yeah, me, me either. <laughs> I've had Olive Garden only like three years. And I've only been there once. And I got yelled at because I didn't, I was doing something with my hair or something. And there goes a balloon. I didn't see it. There it is. There's an old man walking. <laughs> now give me some money! <laughs> so tell me, Doug, what's it feel like to be dressed in a robe with a brown sash? It's form. <laughs> it's very form-fitting, right? No. No. <laughs> Who made it for you? Jenny. Oh, she made it? Uh-huh. Oh. There's more coming. We're getting one for you. Oh, yeah. Hopefully mine's pink. Huh? Or yellow. Then I can wear my yellow flip-flops. We are at a little thingy with tasty tie. Uh, that should take me there. Smells good. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it does. No. Yum. Five <laughs> smells good. It smells good. No, I'm not getting out of the van. Uh, but I will gladly. See, I mean like that, Doug. Like you rent one of those. Super. No. Like one of those. Like, don't they have a lot of businesses for lease? Yeah. Mm, we could rent one of those buildings. For what? We could work out of it. Yeah. Work what? Like, oh, instead of giving it food away at the old crusty garrison. Yeah, so is, there? these little teeny spaces are about five times, okay. what, six times what we pay for the garrison. Whoa. Whoa, yeah. Because they're clean? No, because they're on a prime retail, and because they're newer, and because they're not a non-profit. The garrison's not trying to make money on us. They just try to cover their bills. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're kidding. We're parking right here. Why not? Oh my gosh, Doug. Nobody We're at Chick-fil-A. Oh, they're going to see me. Oh man. I just put down the visor. Okay, so here we are at the intersection. We're okay. at Chick-fil-A. Listen up. Yeah. I've got some little flyers, but it's unlikely that anybody's going to really stop and I'm more interested in them getting to think about Jesus than trying to recruit somebody to go to our website or give money or whatever. So we're not asking for money. <laughs> we're just going to pray and wave at folks and 
you know, preach to them or whatever the Lord leads you. Are the kids getting out? Uh, I don't know. That's up to the mom and the Absolutely, we're getting okay. out. Come on. Uh, okay, <laughs> so we got four signs. I get. Uh, what if they arrest you all? One. And I have. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay, I get the what will it take to wake you up then. And uh, if you're going to cross the road, hold hands and, and be safe. Especially you, Nietzsche. We've got four signs, one for each corner. Yeah, one for each corner. Park How many corners? Oh, my Lord. Is your wife coming? Is Becky and your wife coming? Hey. Is Becky hey, and your wife coming? Hey, Jesus didn't have a Blackberry. <laughs> I'm getting so far behind. I'm like, Are you nervous? No. No? Oh, Can I stop my here? stick. Oh, I forgot my stick. Oh, oh! no! Oh! Did you? Yeah. It's in the cafeteria. Walk home and get it's it. in the pantry. Somebody go cut me a stick. <laughs> cut down that light post. Yeah. Okay. Can I videotape from here? Well, yeah, but okay, I want to put this on YouTube, and I want it to be usable. This was usable. My commentary, I am funny. They like funny. Okay. There goes Kim. <laughs> Kim, show me your sign. <laughs> it says Jesus saw what you did. <laughs> and here's Doug in his whole outfit. And here's the whole family. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> hey, say hi to the camera, Doug. Hi. Show us your sign. Show us your sign. What will it take to wake you up? What will it take, Kurt? More than a miracle. <laughs> Here they go. That's everyone out there. You can see we're in a high traffic zone. Four intersections. Kim's out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Zach and Doug. Where's Doug? Oh, there he is. Doug just crossed the street over there. DJ, DJ, come take this. I'm gonna get out. Hey, Jeremy, Jeremy, you want to take this and film the whole situation? Sure. Are you good at filming? Uh, it's running right now, so you just want to not be real wobbly and. Yeah. Okay.
much for just kind of getting through here. Uh, that's all you guys had to sign. Basically, usually when I see people signs that say something about Jesus or God, make sure they didn't give you a feeling too much. I will, I will. Usually, something felt related. No, yeah, no. Which uh, saddens me. What are you guys, what are you wanting to do? We're wanting the church to get its head out of its butt and start acting like Jesus. And what's what is that to you? Feed the hungry, clothe the naked, take care of folks, love each other. No, we don't. God called me and other people here to Liberty to be the church of Liberty, and I think that's the only thing that there is in the Bible: the Church of Ephesus, Church of Smyrna, Church of Laodicea, one body per city under Christ, taking care of each other, sharing with each as they have a need. The whole stained glass, chandelier, the new gymnasium thing is completely not the you know? And and the whole Fred Phelps, God hates gays, whatever, that stuff is totally over the top and, and an embarrassment. Uh, we got a food pantry here in Liberty. We fed 5,000 people last month. We got a place where we can take people in. We house about 40 people. Just trust in God and provide. Do you, uh, so do you do press? No, we're separate than Hillcrest. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're separate than Hillcrest. We've got lots of videos on YouTube, and uh, you know, just try to preach the truth of the gospel, let people know that Jesus is real. All of us have had experiences with God that are beyond just I believe what I believe because my parents did, or you know, like I'm a Democrat because my dad was a Democrat or whatever. You know, I know that He's real, and I know that He changed my life completely. And that it's love for me to tell somebody that he's real. Now, whether somebody accepts it or not, that's that's up to them. You can't convert somebody by force. You know, the conquistadors and all that stuff was just, that wasn't Jesus's idea. You know, we've got uh, mostly uh, for the last six years, I've been apologizing to people for the harm the church did and this thing we call church, which I don't think is the church at all. And uh, I'm not embarrassed. Christ. I'm not, I'm not ashamed to come out in a robe. You know, I don't wear this all the time. You know, it's just to get this, this MTV, uh, you know, MMA jackass generation to stop and, you know, get their attention for just a second on something bigger than, you know, what am I having for lunch? Um, we're not about hate at all. You know, and we're not trying to recruit. I'm not, we're not, we're not collecting money. We're not trying to get you to join anyone. We're just trying to get people to think about, you know, what what happens if you die tomorrow. And, okay, no more. Yeah, I'm against war. For <laughs> One lady drove by, wishes Merry Christmas. I'm not sure that that was well. <laughs> You know, it's it's actually strange. I because when I drove past, the first thing I thought, I mean, of course, like I said, I was like, oh man, these are. Phelps copycats, and I was really kind of afraid because I really want to get past that. I mean, personally, uh, I'm going to admit I'm an atheist, so but I do appreciate that you guys help people, and these are the good things that I appreciate religion for, and I'm glad that.
I've got a video on YouTube called uh, Dear Atheist, You Win, I Give Up. And it's just like, you know that. what? The church is whack. I, it took me 20 years in the church to figure it out. You figured it out right away. God bless you. You know, <laughs> you're right. Now, don't be mad at Jesus. Because there's two, this institutional thing we built is a whole separate thing than Jesus himself and what he said. And, and you know, we, we need to, you know, the, the, the First Baptist Dallas has a million dollar chandelier in the sanctuary. You know, Joel Austin spent 70 million remodeling compact stages so we have a big sanctuary in the country. Something's really black. Okay? That's not what it's been about. In Matthew 25, it says Jesus is going to separate the sheep from the goats by did you feed me, did you clothe me, did you visit me in prison, did you care for me? Well, you aren't the meeting in the congregation to nobody you're doing any of that stuff. And yet that's what's on the final exam. You know, maybe we ought to just focus on that and stop arguing about all the theological minutia. You know, we have 41,000 denominations. We started doing every other day. The most divided religion on the planet, you know, the one whose founder said to have be one body. Something's wrong, you know, so. The white okay. stone. They go, what, what, what we, we just finished on the corners. Tell me how it was, Doug. Oh, it was great. <laughs> how many people, was, how many people what, got flipped off? Me. Me. I got, I got cussed me. out. I got <laughs> cussed out. What? I wanted to go home, F off, yeah. I, doesn't hate I got killed. Do you have God? <laughs> hey, he was rejected first. The Thanks, Amen. Lord. We love you. Yeah. Wow. Right. What were what comments did you get? Oh, I had two guys that stopped their cars and actually walked out to the intersection to talk to us. One was an atheist that was expecting a fight because he was expecting the like God hates fags kind of signs like Fred Phelps carries and stuff. And uh, Westboro Baptist Church. And uh, oh, wow. he didn't expect God hates denominations. That just totally messed with his head. And, <laughs> and so we talked for a while about hearing God better and the reality of Jesus. And he, he really wanted to fight. And he wanted to kind of intellectualize the whole thing and try to prove to me that God wasn't real. And that just ain't going to fly, you know. And uh, I, I respect how much faith it takes to be an atheist. I really do. And uh, uh, anyway... So, uh, and then another guy stopped, didn't quite get a beat on, I think he was just asking questions, and it had clearly been a topic of conversation last week, because he'd heard about the signs, but he didn't understand, and he was over having a burger anyway, so he came over to talk to us, <laughs> and uh, I'm not for sure, because it, it really looked like him, but I'm pretty sure the pastor that mentioned this last Sunday drove by, right toward the end, so uh, I, 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 I think it was him. <laughs> so you're a little giddy? Well... Because you, know. you got your whole crew this time. It was fun. No, it was whole crew fun. The and, and then there was a guy. We need more ropes. We're definitely there, gonna get more. Then there ropes. was a couple guys over there that goes, "Look, there's Jesus over there on the corner." <laughs> Oh, yeah. There was and some the, bikers that were like, where's Jesus? You want to go talk to him? I was like, no, that's Doug, but Jesus will talk to you. And Yeah, they, so. the girl from Smart Clips came down and wanted a picture with Jesus. And I'm like, well, you know, I'm not actually Jesus. You know oh, wow. She says, would it be okay if I get a picture with you? And I said, sure. She said, uh, I'm just Doug. Uh, effing right on. <laughs> and then she got widow in the picture. And, uh. Me. I'm like, oh, you know, okay. just getting a picture with me isn't going to get you into heaven. She's like, I go to church. <laughs> I'm like, I want to know what effing church that is. I didn't say that, but it was. <laughs> <laughs> I had somebody tell me to quit killing people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, I don't know what that was all about. God hates war. <laughs> Thou shalt not kill. I said, well, yeah, I'm on board with that, but I don't know what that has to do with me. I did get one guy that was, you know, really nice about it. He was like, right on, and. So, well, there was a lot of, of like thumbs up and lots of honking and whatever, and lots yeah. of people with crosses dangling from their mirror that should have stopped and got out and carried a sign instead right. of just, you know, they're getting out of church just, just after lunchtime, afternoon, and, you know, and, and I, I hope that a lot of them will go home and say, hey, pastor, that was really cool, that was really radical, how come we don't do that? Because it was after we started a food pantry and we're really pushing the need for that and telling the pastors whatever that the big mega church started a, a free farmers market in the garden in their back 40 and they're giving away food and you know other other congregations started a garden and people are starting to get more of the stuff that i was telling them five years ago so if they copycat us and want to come out and get more jesus in town fine praise god i don't you know i just want people every time they leave their house to be assaulted with jesus in this town 
<laughs> you know, there's just no getting away from it. You got to leave town. That's what I want. But I don't want Fred Phelps. I don't want the hate. I don't want, and I don't want, you know, Jesus loves everybody. You're safe nonsense either. You know, I want the truth of the gospel. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to, I, I need to get some more stuff, make some more signs. I want one that says, without holiness, no one will see God. And I want some more focused on the Christians, you know, about us being one body and wake them up. I, I don't, I don't, frankly, I like, I like getting flipped off by the world, okay? Me too. But I don't like, I, what turns my stomach is the fake Christians giving me a thumbs up. Hey, yeah, way to go. We're never going to do anything like that. And we're not that crazy, but we're glad you're out here doing it so we don't have to. You know what? I don't want that, okay? I want them to be angry. I want the, the now there are the really shiny ones that drive by, and I know they're on board, but they got to go to work or whatever. But the middle of the road, pew-sitting Christians, whatever, now I want to say something like God hates denominations, or can we be one body now, Christians, or something that will really just make them flip me off. Then I think we're getting somewhere. You know? <laughs> I was hoping my boss would have came back from St. Louis and saw me. Yeah. <laughs> I think part of what we're doing is forcing a separation between the darkness and the light. They have to pick a team. They're, they're forced again out of their lukewarm American status quo staleness and they have to either give me a thumbs up or flip us off they have to in their heart even if they don't look at even if they just keep their eyes straight ahead you know don't look at the crazy guy you know whatever they've <laughs> made a road. decision to not look toward God if we're out here doing the work of God in obedience to God and they refuse to look in our direction that's him knocking on the door again and then refusing to answer again and at some point, the, 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 the darkness and the light get farther and farther apart. And I'm for, I think revival is about forcing that. about And, and knowing some are going to turn against you and persecute you. And some are going to get on board. And, you know, we get in their face to, to force that. You know, spit on me, throw a bottle at me. You know, jump up on the curb and try to run me down. I don't, you know, whatever. <laughs> You know, I, you can't get past my angels. It's all part of the plan, and I get more reward in heaven. But you are are clearly showing whose team you're on, and and the Lord, you know, I don't know. I think I think that's what it's going to get. You know, to, to see someday everybody in liberty loving Jesus means we're going to have fight after fight after fight, and probably lawsuits of people that feel like they're getting run out of town, and because there's too much Jesus. You know, hmm. what would a town full of real, true Jesus lovers do to the public school system? What would it do to city government? What would it do to the police force? I have no idea how things might change and how much the ACLU and everybody will come screaming, yelling, you know, trying to block it. So I saw that guy, that homeless guy. Mm -hmm. What did he say to you? Um, he, uh, he told me that he had been asked to kill somebody, and a woman, and um, he knew that it was wrong. He knew that the Bible says we're supposed to protect women and children, so he went to the police. Um, the guy that had tried to pay him for this hit um, was going to jail, but now his life was in danger, and he didn't know where he should go or what he should be doing because he couldn't he had to leave behind his family because they were in danger all the time that he was there and um he'd been in the army and had a job and now he was out on the street and didn't know where to go and asked if i would pray with him and he talked to me over there and he said that um he tried to go to a couple of pastors at a church and he couldn't get any pastor to live. Well, I, I did what I was allowed to do, which was I listened to him, I prayed with him, and held his hand, and and continue to pray for him. It's it's difficult sometimes to know how much of the story is real and how much isn't, um, but he definitely needs prayer. And, um, you know, I asked the Lord about taking him home, and I didn't, I didn't hear that we were supposed to. I don't, you know, um, other times I might have, but we're full beyond capacity almost and um, just I don't know we're supposed to sometimes we entertain angels I'm not sure um, you know 
Uh, I've met lots of angels like that. And uh, sometimes handle them right, sometimes handle them wrong. But um, anyway, so we'll keep praying for him. And um, I know he's in some kind of danger of one sort or another. Yep. Yep. So we've got everyone in the van, right? No one's out there? Yes, and we're still not going to get you no Chinese No one got food. kidnapped. Oh, wow. <laughs> but I was such a good cameraman. And I and I sat calmly and I didn't <laughs> run across the street. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Thank you. Yeah, this is how Doug treats me. Makes me come out here we and doesn't even give me Chinese food. food. At the pantry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not buy no, a Chinese we don't. buffet for everybody in the van. How about you just, just buy so me you. a Chinese buffet? Yeah. That would not be fair. I did the most work. To other people. <laughs> yeah, okay, gotta right. go now. Okay. okay. This has Bye. been. Kim and Doug. And everybody else. Yep.